Welcome, here I've got LG Wing and I'm gonna show you the top tricks of this camera. So let's start by tapping on the camera button to open it and for now we are in the standard photo mode. Let's see what we've got here. Let me start with this settings bar by going to the left or right. Here we can change the modes of this camera. We have the time lapse mode, standard video, photo, portrait, sticker and by going to the end of the right side we have more. So the night view panoramic, manual camera, manual video, slow motion, YouTube live and AR stickers. So this is a lot. I don't have much time to speak about all of these modes now. I suggest you to making experiments with that and just have a good fun. And in some modes, let me tap for example to the slow motion, we have really cool thing. Let's move to the left to this button. When we tap here, we get access to some short tutorial uh, from the device about how to use this mode. So in more advanced modes, you can read about uh, its settings and how to use them. So this is really cool that we have this. Now let's go back to the standard photo mode. And here, let me start by tapping anywhere at the screen like that. Here we have access to this ring. This is the focusing ring, so we can pick focusing area anywhere we need at our picture. And this is connected with the slider which appears here. And by using it, we can adjust the exposure compensation so we can manage the light of our picture. As you can see, by going to the right, we can make our photo more bright. By going to the left, we can make it more dark. We can also tap here on MF to change the focusing from auto to manual. So this is also a really cool thing, like in the pro mode. Now let's stay on auto. So to go back to the auto settings, we have to just simply tap anywhere at the screen again. And let's have a look at this button here at the center with one, two, as you can see, when we tap here, we can change it. So here we can manage the lenses of this camera. Now we are on the ultra wide lens. Then we go back to one, to standard one and get closer. So this is connected with zoom. Also, when we tap here a little bit longer, we get access to the slider. And here we can easily use zoom and get closer to the subject. Also go back. We can also use zoom by two fingers like that. But I think that when we use this slider, we can be more precisely. So just tap here on this button with lenses a little bit longer and you can get access to it. Now let's stay on the standard lens and let's move to this settings bar here. Let me start from the right corner. The first one button here is the camera timer. So we can adjust the delay of taking picture. We can pick from three, five or 10 seconds of delay. So let me pick now three seconds to show you how it works. And now let me take a picture. And here we have the countdown. As you can see, the picture was taken now with three seconds of delay. Let's stop again to the timer and turn it off from the left. And let's move to this button, the second from the right. By just one tap, we get access to the flash. Now this flash is turned off. At the center, we can turn it on every time we take a picture. Another tap to this button and when we go to the right corner now we can turn on flash on the auto so the camera should recognize the uh, bad conditions when it's too dark and use it uh, to help us. Now let me keep this turn it off and let's move to the center to this button. Here we get access to the slider with the filters and we can make our picture now just more beautiful before we take it. So you can pick whatever you like from this. You have also this uh, slider with strength. So we can adjust here the intensity of the filter and this is how to use this. Now let's go back to the original filter. Let's tap here to turn it off and move to this button. When we tap here, we can manage the aspect ratio of the camera. Now we are in four and three ratio. From the left, it's also four and three, but with 64 megapixels, the best possible quality of this camera. So we have a short access to the best possible quality. Another tap here, and we can also manage the ratio to 16 and nine. And the background has changed it now to the longer one. When we tap here once again, we can also pick one and one. The square one, this is how it looks like. 
and also from the rise in the settings we have the full aspect ratio so this is uh, how it works here by just another tab we can easily go back to 4 and 3 and now let's stay on this one let's move to the left corner to this button now when we tap here we can open the advanced camera settings as you can see we have a lot of them let me show you a few uh, at first we have the auto intelligent camera settings so here by using these buttons we can turn off or turn on some uh, settings that can help us with the auto intelligent camera to taking better photos so we have auto scene optimizer composition settings and tips i suggest you to keep this turn it on because this is help for us to taking really good pictures now let's slide a little bit down let me focus now on the safe options at the first place here we have the photo size and here we can manage the aspect ratio connected with the quality and the size so we have some more advanced settings about the size of the picture we want to take and this is connected with the ratio so when we tap for example on 16 and 9 with 4 and 6 megapixels uh, here we can see the change in the preview so this is kind of a more complicated way to change ratio but here we can see more options with the quality so i think this is important to know that we have this now let's move to hdr here we can turn it on the auto which is now we can turn it on every time we take a picture or turn it off when we don't need it i suggest you to keep this on the auto because the hdr helps to improve the details in the brightest and darkest areas at our picture and it really helps to make our photos just more beautiful and lightful and when it's on auto the camera should recognize the best possible settings to have this now let's slide a little bit down to the useful features let me start with the live photo by just one tap here on this button we can turn it on another tap to turn it off when we don't need it and when we have this uh, turn it on we can get two in one when we take a picture so we can get the photo and the short video at the same time let me show you how it works so let's go back to the camera and let me take a photo this is my object to see it let's move to the left to this button here by just one tap we get quick access to the gallery and this is our short clip and the picture so this is the live photo i think this is really cool let's go back to the camera to the settings let's slide down again to the useful features now let me turn off the live photo and let's move to tracking focus here also by using this button we can turn it on and turn it off like that as we need and this option is also one of my favorites because uh, this is helpful when we want to take a picture to something that is in move and we can track it let me show you how it works this is my object by tapping on the focus it follows us when we move or when our object is moving at uh, the picture so this is really helpful to keep focused now let's go back to the settings let me keep the turn it off and let me move to the grid option by using this button we can turn on the camera grid lines another tap of course to turn them off when we have this turn it on we can see these lines at our preview as you can see this is helpful when we want to use the rule of third in photography or making experiments with composition also remember that these lines are not visible at the real photo when i take a picture and when i go again to the gallery to the left we can see them at the photo so the grid lines are only to help us taking better photos of course when we don't need them we can tap again to the left corner slide down to the useful features use this button so for now the grid lines have gone here now let's stay on these settings from the left let's slide down again to the useful features another thing i want to show you here is the cheese shutter by just one tap here we can turn on some voice control to our camera another tap of course to turn it off and when we have this we can take a picture without touching the screen by saying some keywords like cheese smile whiskey kimchi or lg let me try to use this so let's go back to the camera and now let me try to take a picture by saying loudly cheese and as you can see this is how it works the picture was taken 
So let's go back to the settings to the left. Let's slide down again. Let me keep the star net off now. And let's move to add watermark option here. When we tap on it, we can add to our picture some watermark with signature or shot on the G wing. Let me pick now the signature. Here we can add our own watermark. For example, let me write here wing and hard reset. And here we have the short preview, how it looks like. We can also pick the font of our uh, watermark. So we have many options and we can pick whatever we like. Let's add it and let's go back to the camera to take a picture to see how this watermark look like at the real one. So let's go again to the left, to the gallery. And this is it. In the right corner at the bottom, we have the watermark with signature wing heart reset. Let's go back to the camera to the left corner and let's slide down again to the add watermark option. Here we have also shot on LG wing watermark, so the device one. Let's stay on this now and when I take a photo in the camera and again go to the gallery, we can see that this is how it changes and this is how the device watermark looks like shot on LG wing. Let's go back now again to the camera, then to the left corner, slide down. Let me turn off these watermarks. And another cool thing we have here is the scan care code option. By using this button, we can of course turn it off or turn it on. I suggest you to keep this turn it on because this is the easiest way to scan care codes at this device. When you have this, you can put them inside your camera and you don't need any other app to do it. And now let's move to tag locations option. Also this button is useful when we want to turn it off or turn it on. And this option allows us to save the information about the place where we take a picture in the details about it. Also here the important information is that to make it work correctly, when we want to save the actual location of our photo, we have to be connected with the internet, for example with the Wi-Fi, and we have to turn on the location of this device. So remember about these two parameters to make it work. Now let me keep the internet on all of the settings. Let's go back to the camera and take another picture. To see it, let's move again to the left to this button. And this is our photo to check it location. We have to just simply slide a little bit down. And as you can see, we have access to more details with the location, with the map and the full address. So greetings from Krakow, Poland. Now let's go back to the camera and at the end I want to show you one extra thing from the device we have here. So let's open this like that and as you can see now we can get access to some advanced video recording settings. We have the gimbal mode, here we can change it also to the time lapse, slow motion and dual recording. So high here we can use also the front camera. And uh, I suggest you also to make experiments with that. You have in each of these modes this button in the left corner. So by just one tap you can read the short tutorial and learn how to use that. I think this is really cool. And done. And to use the gimbal mode we have to just play with this joystick like that. We can also tap here to reset this and go back to the straight view. And also here we have some short um, information about the voice recording. So I think this device gives us a lot of possibilities, especially when we want to record the video. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up.